Tyler, he wanted to keep this one a surprise, so I don't know what this is going to be. So. Tyler knows. Oh, cool. <laughs> <sighs> Love when you two team up. You're getting gang banged. <laughs> no, that, getting... It's the most <laughs> wonderful time in Grayson's rear. going on all you weekly checklisters my name's mason and my name is grayson and welcome to the modern dude a podcast by <laughs> dudes for dudes helping dudes become better dudes dude that's right we are throwing it back and grayson has no idea what's going on I am surprising him with this. I told him to show up for this one, and we're just going to do it. And we are going to throw it back to the weekly motherfucking checklist. Oof. It is our original podcast that we did before The Modern is Dude. a mistake. <laughs> so I've got a couple things that we used to do um, that, we'll, that we'll do here in the next 20-odd so minutes. We're going to do things from our first podcast? We're yeah. going to do, like, games? Some bits, yeah. Some bits? Yeah. So for anybody who doesn't know, uh, we had a our original podcast that we first started in the depths of the quarantine pandemic. It was called The Weekly Checklist. We started it in Mason's living room with two chairs and a rickety coffee table <laughs> with two USB built-in stand Yeti microphones. Mm-hmm. And uh, we learned a lot that year about ourselves, about each other, and about podcasting. Podcasting? Question. <laughs> uh, we did a lot of. It was more of a variety show. We did a lot of funny little bits and things and games on there. So Mason is now surprising me all of a sudden in this moment that we're gonna harken back to that. Oh yeah. Just December, man. And the nostalgia of it all is. Oh yeah. Really hitting me. Um, so one of the ones that we used to do was just the good old fashioned Florida man moment. Oh, wow. Uh, and so I have found a list of 60 times Florida man did something so crazy. We had to read the headlines twice. Oh, Florida man headlines. Yeah. It's this been a minute from boardpanda.com. Bored panda. Uh, <laughs> Bored panda. <laughs> I don't know where I find these fucking sites. It's always weird. Love Panky. Love Panky. Bored Panda. That bored Panda. Well, are pandas always bored? I mean, they seem how, pretty how content. interesting can eating bamboo shoots be all day? I don't know. <laughs> oh, they're so funny. I think they're content. I don't think they're I actually think, bored. I think they're pretty content and just chill. They're yeah. pretty good with the flow. Yeah. yeah I did sure. see one fall out of a tree one time. And it was maybe the funniest thing I've ever seen. Probably the most exciting like thing that's ever happened to him. Oh, for sure. <laughs> hey, but they're so squishy, he just kind of landed and he was fine. Oh, it's squishy panda. Yeah. Um, kicking it off, number one. The <laughs> This is called the number one lucky shirt. Florida man wears fuck the police uh, to a court showing. <laughs> and he won the case. And he won the case. And he won the case. You know what? If you stand up <laughs> to him, they'll respect you. <laughs> they'll really respect you. Terrible advice with Grayson. That's part one. funny. He walked in wearing a fuck the police shirt, and they were like, give it to him. Yeah. Shout out to that judge. Actually, maybe not shout out to that judge. I don't know what it was. I and mean, if, if he was innocent, then he was innocent. <laughs> well, that's great if he was innocent. the judge isn't technically. He's part of the law, but he's not, you know. He doesn't sound like somebody who's he's not very innocent, though. <laughs> he does not. He sounds like maybe trouble. He, yeah. Yeah. Uh, here's another one. Florida man in no seriously I have drugs T-shirt arrested for <laughs> possession of drugs. <laughs> what is up with these T-shirts, man? I don't know. The first two were T-shirts. No seriously, I have drugs on me is what the shirt said. And he got arrested for drugs. Well, he was trying to tell people. He, I think he, yeah, I think he wanted, <laughs> he, he, he wanted lying. to go down for it. He's like, please arrest me. I've been trying. Yeah. He's like, I need a free meal. How much? Yeah, he was yeah. like, I, I need somewhere to stay. How much more can I spell this out for yeah. you, literally? 
Uh, number five, flying alligators. Florida man charged with assault with a deadly weapon after throwing alligators through a Wendy's drive through window. That's doesn't that can't be real. <laughs> Dude, these are all sighted. You can't these are, throw these an are alligator. All real things. Who the fuck throws WPTV. an alligator? WPTV.com. I don't think it's real. Yeah. Throw an alligator. I need video footage. It's right. There's a link. Are you about to click that link? No, because it's going to take me off this page. That's assault with a deadly weapon is my favorite part. They got charged with assault with a deadly weapon. We're throwing alligators. <laughs> if you're using an alligator like a weapon, but how are you? I mean, is if you throw an alligator at someone through stop, a window, stop, stop. We're not just saying the phrase throw an alligator like that's anything anyone has or can do. <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? Are they dead alligators? Are no, they baby alligators? Alive. They were small. Yeah, they're small, small alligators. Small alligators? Yeah, I mean, they probably weren't fully grown. How 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 much does a small alligator weigh? I don't know. I, Grayson, I don't have a video. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, from the time they're this big to the time they're full grown, I'm sure it was like 25 to 40 pounds. That's crazy, man. But you could huck one through a window. Well, he said multiple. Yeah, two. He had two? He threw two of them. How'd he get him there without... <laughs> Them like e eating at him, chomping on him. <laughs> that is the most insane thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> it, it's even more fucked up. They're like little baby alligators yeah, and he like true. stole from the swamp. Yeah. And he's like brought them in like a basket and he's like, that's, it's, that is the that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. Place, yeah. what animal, the animal cruelty and yeah, human dude. cruelty. So strange. Just strange. fuckery. It's just so odd. Florida man, man. Uh, here's a go. Uh, this is number six, modern Robin Hood. Florida man steals a car, realizes a baby is in it, drops baby off safely, makes his getaway. Wait, say that again? The guy stole a car, and he didn't realize there was a baby in it. So he dropped he, the baby off, then but dropped, then took the car. And still. then he dropped the baby off safely, and then continued. Oh, that's not, very, that's not very Florida man. That's, that's pretty, like, good guy. <laughs> but that... He's a criminal. He's a good guy. What do you mean he stole a car? Yeah, but he could have just dumped the baby on the highway. That sounds like more of a Florida man. Well, that's thing. why it said modern Robin Hood. You know, he was he was like kind of <laughs> nice about it. Stealing from the rich, but not completely, completely fucking destroying yeah. your family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a, but like Florida man. Like that's a nice. <laughs> that's that's like high end for a Florida man. I feel like. Oh yeah, that's yeah. To return the baby and not like eat the baby because he's on like you know, bath salts or some shit. That's. That's more of a Florida man vibe, I feel like. Yeah. This oh here's a here's a stupid one. Uh this is a detective. A Florida cop claims Burger King put dirt on his food. Investigation reveals it was seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> like, what a fucko. This man is a detective. The thing is, uh well, he's a detective in Florida. Secondly, I think um that is actually not surprising to me because I've had people say equal to crazier things to me at like the restaurant that I work at. What? Just like dumb shit like that. What are the, did you have? Like, oh, like uh, this, you know, this burger is like, you know, it's got, it's, it's like got meat in it. Like shit like that. <laughs> like people say dumb shit like that all the time to my face. And I'm like, yeah, it's a fucking burger. Like, <laughs> They're like, can I get the peanut butter, peanut butter burger, but no peanut butter? And I'm like, so you just want a burger? Yeah. They're like, yeah, with everything else that's on, I'm like, cheese and bacon. So you want a bacon cheeseburger? You don't. Want yeah, but the, the specialty part of it, the peanut butter. Yeah, I'm like, just, just get a regular burger. Yeah. Just say you want a right. We have an option to get just any kind of burger that you yeah. want. Why are you speaking like that? <laughs> can I get the burger without Why are you the like that? without the you know let it like the seasoning like. Mm. Dirt. He really thought they were trying to get him. Yeah. Oh, too paranoid. Yeah. I don't know. Life of a detective. Always paranoid. God, this one's funny. Number nine. The hospital wait. Florida man gets tired of waiting at hospital. Hospital steals ambulance. Drives home. <laughs> <laughs> well, why was he there in the first place? I, it does not give that information. He was like, "I really need help. I'm bleeding." I'm tired of this though. I just want to go home. I'm taking a name. There's like, I mean, there's links to all of these. These are all, these are all tweets that are just a compiled list of tweets. And with like the X O G X.com news, Florida. X O G X.com. Like, yeah. 
I mean, I think that sounds a, like there's a picture of the guy's mugshot here. So oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Florida man tries to rob GameStop while wearing transparent bag on his head. <laughs> <laughs> he had a see-through bag. Yep, and there's a picture here too. He put a bag on his head. First of all, he put a bag on his head. How are you breathing through that? <laughs> He's a Florida man. He doesn't, <laughs> Florida he, he doesn't need to breathe. No. <laughs> he just needs to exist and rob. There's uh, a picture here. Yeah, he's got a see You can see his face. Very real. Real? Very that we well. will. That we will. I that's don't know why. Yeah. Really, that's really stupid. Yeah. Well. Oh, man. This one. This might take the grade. This will be the last one. Florida man breaks into jail to hang out with friends. <laughs> That that is the full uh, circle oh, Florida man, man moment. I feel like that's just he's like juicy. I miss the boys, but I don't want to go back to the slammer. And then he like sits on it for a little while, and he's like, "Fuck it, I got to get it back in there with the homies. I got nothing out here for me." Florida man breaks into jail to hang out with friends. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Why don't you just visit them? That's what. Yeah, <laughs> quite. Yeah, <laughs> visitation. What a dumbass! That's fantastic. Now nah, he wants to get up in the cell with him. He wants to, he's got to get where the action is, baby. Yeah. That's fucked. That's really, okay, so I got one more. Here's a bonus one, because this is ridiculous. A Florida man apparently paints anti-Hillary message on a Tampa Bay crab. And there's a picture of a crab that says, Hillary is a lying bitch. And somebody else found this crab later. Like. Just like wash up on the beach? Hillary is a lying bitch. Uh, he could have done, first of all. <laughs> May not be Clinton. <laughs> Could have just been in. Uh, <laughs> he might have a Hillary in his life who yeah. is absolutely, in fact, a lying bitch. A lying bitch, bitch yeah. Um, but the fact that it's in Florida probably suggests the, uh, the former. I feel like if he really wanted to say something mm. and make a political statement, he should have just. On this crab. On this crab. Okay, yeah. He should have just written, but what about the emails? Yeah. That, obviously about Hillary. That would have been a little bit more subtle. You know? And more clever. But again, Florida man. Clever is not in a Florida man's vocabulary. Although this, that is pretty funny. Hillary is a lying bitch. <laughs> it's fucked up. It's pretty funny. Well, they're still up to no good, huh? <laughs> Haven't checked in with those boys in a minute. And they are, I don't know. The alligator shit is it's really like it's affecting me. <laughs> that is wild to think about. Oh, like was he man. in a car at the drive-thru? Or did he just walk up to the window of the drive-thru and throw a alligator at an alligator? And then I, my favorite part is that they got arrested for assault with a deadly weapon. How else do you classify an alligator? If you're, if you're Sh- weaponizing, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. You're weaponizing an alligator. Yeah. It's deadly. Alligators are deadly. Yeah. I, I actually, your point is good. How big that fucker was that he, you know. You can't just Because there's li- there are little ones. Baby ones can be very small. You know, they can be like this big. Oh, but like picking one up and it's like, it's still, what yeah, the it's, fuck? Yeah, it's still weird. That is, oh, it's making me it's feel unpleasant. weird. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. Oh, do I? The thing is, I have this like image of this specific Wendy's like in my hometown sure. growing up. Yeah. And like, I'm just like replaying it in my head at the drive through like over and over with this guy like in front of me as I'm coming around to get my food and he's just like chucking alligators at, ooh I don't no, like I, we, no. we're gonna move on kind of ruined my day <laughs> that's what I uh, aim to do nailed it alright this is one this is the one that I know you're really gonna like uh, on the weekly checklist we used to do a two truths and a lie and we generally did it with bands, which is what we're going to do today. Oh, are we going to do a whole thing? Oh, well, this is fun. This was my favorite thing to do. Yeah. I thought you were going to like dumb it down, but we're going to actually do. I did. I did the whole thing. Yeah. Wow. What do we call this? Uh, it's essentially tr- two truths and a lie. Uh, I thought this had like a name. It was like bands no one's ever heard of. And yeah. one real one. I, I can't remember what that. Damn. Was. Yeah. There was like a, the segment was like actually like I thought it was called something. Uh, it's like fake bands, fake or, bands yeah, or some know. shit. Yeah. Um, but we, I, I, 
I always had a good time with this. You actually got you actually did it to me a couple of times too. You actually, I think, got more of these than me. <laughs> you like won this game more than me. So I'm the premise behind the game is there's I put out three bands, I give facts about them, and uh, two of them are real and one of them is not. And that's how this one was. We've done it different ways where there's two fake ones and one real one. But this one is two real ones. One, one fake, fake one. one. And there's like criteria to of explaining. Yeah, and I, I'll go down the thing. So essentially, I give the name of the band. I give the genre of music. I give the band members. I give a couple albums. And then I give a fun fact. Fun fact. Yeah. That's fucking funny. Yeah. All right, dude, I'm ready. Yeah. Wow, this is exciting. Yeah. All right. Band number one. Groovy Uncle. Have you heard of it? No. <sighs> Groovy Uncle. All right. Doesn't sound real. We'll see. Uh, genre is alt rock, indie rock. Uh, band members is Glenn Pragnell. <laughs> Albums. Searching. It's one guy? Well, hold on. It is one, it is one guy. But wait for the fun fact. Uh, Albums. Searching for the Grown Ups. Persuade. And The Man Who Calls the Shots. I, I give three albums for all of these. Three albums. The fun fact. Pragnell is a constant, is the one constant member of the band with the other musicians rotating for different okay. projects. Okay. Yeah. So he is Uncle Groovy. He's Uncle Groovy, and then he brings in different people to, to play with him. Uncle Groovy has an album called Searching for the Adults? Searching for the Grown Ups. Searching for the Grown Ups. Persuade and The Man Who Calls the Shots. He's like a he's like the groovy uncle, fun uncle who's like outside like smoking weed. Like, uncle. oh, where are the where are the grown ups? He's the fun come uncle. on, you guys come out. <laughs> you ever smoked weed, kids? All right, you ready? Band number two. All right. The Change Rattlers. That <laughs> genre. Alt rock. Band members. Josh Small, Jared Barkley, and JT Ross. Albums. Spendthrift, Money Man Cometh, and Can the Wild. Can the Wild? Can the Wild. Fun fact. Lead singer Josh Small had a two-episode part on The Young and the Restless. Okay. Do you, need, do you, need, you ready for th three? Or do you want yeah, to yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Just keep going through it. All right. I Because that, I don't know. Band number three. Gasket. Genre, alt rock, hard rock, rock. Members, John Hoyt, John Hergert, Freddie Feldman. <laughs> Albums, Saturation, Geared Towards the Machine, Fear Fuel. That can't. I, I fun fact. Fun fact. <laughs> they attempted to tour all 50 U.S. states in 49 days which would break the Guinness Book of World Record. They failed when Hoyt broke his wrist when his stage collapsed. When the stage collapsed? Yeah. The entire stage? Part of the stage. My gut is feeling the last one is not real. All right. The, in review, the band's was Groovy Uncle. Is it Groovy Uncle or Uncle Groovy? Groovy Uncle. Groovy Uncle. Groovy okay. Uncle. The Change Rattlers and Gasket. Yeah, Change Rattlers sounds like bullshit too. Change Rattler. What are the name of the albums for the Change Rattlers? Spendthrift, Money Man Cometh, and Can the Wild. Can the Wild. Like, it's so obscure and strange that I almost feel like it has to be a real thing. Do you need to hear any other parts of these? No. The, band, the albums for Gasket? Saturation geared towards the machine, fear fuel geared towards the machine. What does that mean, <laughs> dude? This this is this is a really man. This is a really tough one. I feel like, and they're all like alt rock too, right? I made them all. Yeah, they're all rock alt rock. That's tough. Yeah, because Uncle Groovy or Groovy Uncle makes me feel like it's like. P funk or something. It's like a uncle. Yeah, it's like a it's like a funk band or something. Uh, 
but I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like that one, I don't know. The last two sound like bullshit. <laughs> last two sound like bullshit. Gasket sounds like bullshit. I don't, I don't feel confident about really any of them. And this will always bite me in the ass because what I, my gut is going with is that gasket is the one that I think I'm ultimately going to go with, but I'm going to say that. And it's going to be like two of them are real. One of them is fake. Two of them are real. One of them is fake. <sighs> Fuck my ass. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I I have to stick with it. I have to say I don't think gasket is real. It's real. It's real. It's change rattlers, isn't it? The change rattlers They're is not real. They also are real. Fake. That's fake. Okay. The change rattlers is fake. Okay, I was like almost there. I knew it was one of those two. I felt confident about Groovy Uncle. Oh man, I was nervous. I thought you were gonna switch it up right there at the end. I almost did. I almost <laughs> I almost flipped right at the end and said change rattlers. Change rattlers is bullshit. Damn it. <laughs> that was too but because it was so obscure, I some of the shit you were saying, but you're weird, man. You think of shit like that. <laughs> what was that album? Can the Wait? Can uh <laughs> What the fuck? is that dude? can the wild can the wild yeah like can yeah what are it's you like talking can about? the wild like can heat Shut can up. the wild can heat we were talking about jamiroquai last night i should have fucking picked that there's up there's little there's little nuggets in damn there. yeah geared towards the machine well, that was that was uh gasket oh that's geared a real towards album the machine that's a real album. and fear fuel dude that was that was I was like, dude, I'm so glad Gasket. I found this one because it made the one that I made. Like, I that thought, one sounds even more bullshit. Exactly. Yeah. I I was like, Groovy Uncle is probably the most, the easiest one to be like. That's probably real. That's probably and real. And then I and then I made one that was pretty ridiculous, and then I found one that was really ridiculous. Change Rattlers. The Change Rattlers. And I even I was like I made like stupid names with money like spend thrift. Yeah, I know. Well, that's well, that's what I was saying. I was money like, man cometh. Yeah, money man cometh. I was like, <laughs> but dude, like it's also a thing for bands oh, yeah. to like do, do shit placate like to the name their of their name. Yeah. or whatever. And, and then like, I did one that was complete. And then can the wild can the wild is I should have I should have. But that because that was not the other two. If all three of them were. Takes well, on money, I would have been like. That's what I did. I did. I did two money and then one that yeah. wasn't. I was like, because that will make. Uh, that's smart. That's yeah. smart. Because if if it was all three, I'd be like, there's no, no way that that's no. real. But two, kind of being a little bit of play on words with like the chain, money. like yeah, money, the change, and then just like, a random one. Like that was their concept album moment. Can the wild exactly? The shit exists, y'all. Like that that's shit how, exists. People do that. That's why I was like, this is this will throw them off the trail a little. That bit. was good. I yeah. did. I did better than I thought. You you almost did it. I was nervous. I thought you. Cause you, I think you've gotten it before. I've gotten you before. Yeah, God, I flipped. Oh, I flipped that. I think I got you like the very first time we did it, and then no, the first time I, you didn't. The second after that, I think you got a, maybe a couple of them. You've got me, pretty much. You've got me like two or three times. I feel like I did. I think you did it three times, and I maybe got two of them. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's funny. That was good, man. Wow, that takes me back to a time. <sighs> it's fun. It's a fun bit. That is a fun little game. Yeah. Excellent. Um, uh, that's it. Just those two. Just yeah. little throwbacks. I would. Did I you want to do another one? Well, <laughs> I think we should have uh, flashback episodes. I, I'm down. That's great. People love that shit. Bring this shit back and just yeah. have a little bit of fun for once. Yeah. Instead of it's everything of being the, so heady. It's part of the dude thing. Dudes like to have fun, man. Yeah. <laughs> Dudes just want to have fun. fun. Okay. Oh, dudes just want to have fun. Come on, Mariah. You will try a whistle tone right now. Transition. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed what you've listened to today. Uh, I know we had a lot of fun. Uh, you can also, I think, check back and still out there. listen to all of our weekly checklist episodes. It's, um, still, it's still under the modern dude. The right? modern dude. But yeah. Yeah. The episodes are still there. Yeah, they're still there. So if you want to take a harken back and listen to me and Mason in our first and rawest form. Mm. You can check that out. We had a lot of fun. It was a lot of games like that. We did yeah. a lot of fun uh, word games and reviews on uh, music and pop culture and things like that. Um, I'm really proud of what we did there. So yeah. if you ever want to still get some of our content, but 
you want to break from some of the heavier issues that we like to talk about, which we find very important, but totally need a break, a little palate cleanser, definitely go check those out. It's still on all um, platforms, streaming yeah. services, yeah. yeah, on Spotify, Apple, all that stuff. Uh, um, YouTube, those those are the filmed ones. Or, uh, filmed ones are all on YouTube as well. Yeah. We we started doing, I think it was like about like 20 or 30 in, we started doing like filming video. every episode. Actually, video, yeah. Um, we did, I think we did like 60 plus. There was about 65-ish uh, yeah. of those episodes. Yeah. Um, so if you want to see uh, some of that like – OG footage. It's not the best quality like we have now, no, but, but it's, it's, it's fun. Some, it's definitely a good time. Um, but of course, as always, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like, subscribe, comment. Um, yep. Just always engage with us. We're on all social media platforms at The Modern Dude, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, please reach out. Please jump on. We always love any sort of criticism or any kind of feedback or just to be like, hey, what's good? <laughs> Um, yes, please comment. Hey, what's good? First one, if if we get fifty comments that say "Hey, what's good," we'll do the next episode naked. Oof. And don't forget, <laughs> do your dude <laughs> diligence. I'm gonna push that now. You fucking said it. All right, bye, bye now. Bye bye. What have I done? Oh.